Now, another thing I was taught is you can't expect every woman to want to just go off with you and have sex with you, right? Right. Exactly, exactly. We're all taught that, right? <laughs> In general, though, right? <laughs> now, it don't mean, though, that if one does, you think she's a slut or anything. <laughs> if you're trying to find a wife or a girlfriend, right? You gotta say I'll be there, too, right? But you don't just see an attractive woman that's your type and know if she's single or not. <laughs> that's the issue. See, usually I'm what? By myself. <laughs> Even on, in the Navy, I'm by myself trying to find a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm not with the chipmates. So no. <laughs> I'm trying to get away from them because they're quid pro quo. <laughs> and trying to get me to do sex for training or something. <laughs> I think that's what that's about, right? Right. <laughs> Well, they won't train you if you don't give them sex. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I didn't know what it even was. <laughs> so I'm just feeling like I'm in high school all over again having to deal with a bunch of assholes who don't want to what? Mm -hmm. Work with me or train me, right? <laughs> and it's using the sex issue of being gay in the Navy to do so, right? But I don't trust them with it. <laughs> in, in other words, even if I gave them the sex, I don't think they would trade me. <laughs> so I, I said, fuck it. <laughs> I'll just do a job I can safely do, like clean the goddamn hand, right? And fuck all that nonsense. Excuse my French there, you do, right? I'm not trying to cuss per se, but tell you how I felt about their proposal. <laughs> Or mainly his proposal, because he was supposed to be the one to train me. That was Ben Gimble, right? Now, the other thing is, everybody's supposed to train me in a different way, you know, right? I just felt like nobody wanted me on the shit, too. Right. The whole time, right? So I'm like, well, what the hell am I supposed to do? Train myself? I don't even know what's going on, right? i never even been on the Navy ship before, so how am I supposed to figure out what the equipment even looks like, you know? Showed me a bunch of books on the shelf. It's, a, it's an important thing, A, if you use them too, right? Uh, I didn't even see him take the books off the shelf. <laughs> All I saw was on the shelf every time I went to the damn shop in the morning, right? I never seen the books took it off the shelf at all, right? The whole time I've been in the Navy, right? So what am I supposed to do about them? I don't know what they're for. <laughs> How am I supposed to guess if they're, they help me do the work or not, right? You're supposed to tell me that part of it, you know what I mean, right? Oh, these are the books that go with the work cards so you can finish the job or something, right? If I don't know that, I don't know that, right? <laughs> I don't recall that being mentioned in A school. Oh, you're there to have you work with a book and a card, and that's how you're going to do the job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you forgot to mention that, or I didn't hear it. I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna have to sleep at that time, right? I am having sleeping issues, you know. You gotta fall asleep from that part. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm also trying to give you a slight layout, though there ain't much if you're quid pro quo me about it, right? <laughs> In other words, it don't matter what I do unless I give you sex. You're not gonna trade me, huh? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna give you sex, so I guess I won't be trained as an electrician, and then. You're going to try and do something to fuck my career over, you know? <laughs> right? Right. And after that, I can't do that about it, right? <laughs> well, the bad thing with the paranoid schizophrenia, right? For me, right? I can still work. I, I can still get out and get a full-time full job, right? And part-time, like before I joined the Navy, right? So I, I didn't care. Right? I didn't worry about it until I fell, until he fell, <laughs> Now, my main issue is the arthritis in the back of the ankle, and I'm grading uh, <clears throat> almost 170 pounds from when I fell. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, all I'm doing is telling my story because I think it's unique that I survived both the car wreck and the three story vault. Right. Oddly, I just thought it was normal, you know, to do that. <laughs> Everybody just, you know, 
crashes into the ground and gets out of the hospital in two days. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> but that was a little bit no harm, no foul, right? Right. <laughs> that happens to everybody, you know. <laughs> Though I would have to be going over 55 miles an hour to lose control unless it was something more. But, right? I didn't think about it. Right. You know, you tell someone they're in a wreck and they're in a the hospital, so they're like, all right. <laughs> and then they, uh, leave the hospital. <laughs> Two days later, like, that's normal, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if you're in a movie or something, like, yes. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. And I ain't that how you would feel like I was in a movie? I was in a ninja movie and I survived an attack or something, right? Something going on that I don't remember, right? <laughs> That's my first case of amnesia, too, and I started having sleeping problems after that, before I joined the Navy, right? But that can be a little neurological, but the Navy can also make it worse, right? And give me more insomnia and hypersomnia than I had before I joined, right? In other words, it was somewhat manageable because I was able to work for Roger Wood, which started at Seven in the morning to five, right? I think, right? And then jump work on that, right? <laughs> also worked a part time job sometimes from six to eleven, right? And no, that was two or three days a week, right? right. And did that fine, right? Mm -hmm. Before I joined the Navy, right? Right. You don't just decide to join the Navy one day and not have things to do up till then, right? So I was doing okay before I joined, too, right? I, I had a plan. I was going to become an electrician, learn how to work on shipboard equipment first, and then maybe go into either construction work as an electrician or, and, you know, take a little course, like, with a tech school or something, right? I don't know. <laughs> and also go into, go into heat and air, because I'm from Georgia, Durr. <laughs> And even the ship has air conditioning, so I figured that would help me out a little bit there too, right? See, I I thought about going into heat and air before, but the guy who trained me didn't really train me out of it. Let's be honest, right? And that's what happened on the day too, right? <laughs> but that's why I did well on the course. <laughs> I got a 3.6 from a... <laughs> Um, let's see. Here. So, um, with the A school, I think I got like a 
3.2 or something more there, right? <laughs> um, cause of 3.6 is 90, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I did at least a 3.2 to pass A school, right? <laughs> Which is about an 80, right? <laughs> I forget how to do all the math on that, but I'm sure I could look it up again, right? Mm-hmm. Right, right. But anyway, that's the whole point. Right. <laughs>